Three students sexually assaulted on or near the Sacramento State campus. One person has been arrested, but another man is still out there. And now students on campus are voicing their concerns. A little frightening, I guess, just because, you know, you school, it's, you would hope it's a safe spot. To be in broad daylight doing that, like that, I, that's crazy to me. KCRA 3's Brittany Hope is live on campus. So Brittany, you spoke with the police chief and students today. What's being done uh, about, what do we know about the suspect who was arrested? So many students, of course, just tell me they're really scared at this point. The suspect from Saturday's assault was arrested and then escorted off campus and is now banned from ever coming back. But many students tell me this is a really big campus and it's an open campus, so they're nervous about that. Sacramento State students. Wow. So this one, my mom's best friend actually got for me. Taking safety into their own hands. I do carry pepper spray with me, um, so when I'm walking to my car at night, I will have it in my hand. Women like Deanna Frack say they're using extra tools to protect themselves as cases of sexual assault are being reported on campus. It makes you feel uncomfortable, like walking. We were just saying, like, good thing we have each other yeah. to walk to class together. The Sacramento State Police Department says they are investigating three sexual assault cases that have happened to students in the past several weeks. Police released this photo of a person officials identify as Zane in connection to the first two assaults, one on campus and one off. And now... It's in broad daylight. This Saturday, another assault happened outside the library at around 5.30 in the afternoon. And that female adult uh, indicated to the suspect that she did not want to give him a hug. Uh, he asked her for a hug. She said no. And at that point, uh, she said no, and then he grabbed her and hugged her. Chief Chet Madison said the suspect then rubbed his groin area on her. He was detained, brought back to our police station here. Uh, he was handcuffed and he was escorted off of the off the campus. Chief Madison said the suspect is now barred from campus and is not a student at the university. Some students tell KCRA 3 they are concerned about the suspect easily coming back. It's scary um, just because like the school's pretty open too, like no gates or anything. Police say they're upping patrols and want to make it clear Saturday's assault outside the library is not connected to the two earlier assaults where Zane is the suspect. And another fact police want to make clear is that neither of these suspects are Sacramento State students. Now going back to Zane, police actually say he is affiliated with San Jose State University and they're working with that university's police department on this investigation as well. As for the suspect from Saturday's assault, the most recent case here, at this point police aren't releasing a description of that person because they say it would be too generic. We're live at Sac State, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. So Brittany, hearing that there are three separate sexual assault cases being investigated by the school. Is this alarming for people in the community, people on campus? What are police saying about how often this happens? Right, so you know, it's actually really hard for them to collect this data, and the big reason for that is the COVID pandemic. When you think about it, a few years ago, there weren't any students here on campus. Last year, the chief says maybe 40 to 50% capacity they were back, and now this year, all students are back on campus. So trending that data over the past few years is tough, but there is a silver lining here. The chief said now that all the students are back on campus and multiple people have been calling about these assaults, they said people are reporting them when they happen. So, so he's pleased about that. All right, Brittany, thank you for the live report from Sacramento State.